welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. So today's video is on uh, creating and manage mailbox database using exchange control panel as well as using the exchange powershell in exchange server 2019. If you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos. So you can connect me also my facebook page that is uh, www.facebook.com slash IT Smart Training. So let's start the video. So at first we have to know that what is a mailbox database. So why do we use mailbox database? In my last video we created two user. One is a user one, another is a user two, and also we send and receive a mail uh, both of the user. So actually where the uh, e email are stored? Actually when we logged in, I just told you uh, that uh, when we logged in, each user create a mailbox okay so if i have 10 user so i have 10 mailboxes and that all are the mailboxes are stored inside the mailbox database so a mailbox database is a storage where the user mailbox are stored in the exchange server 2019 so i show you something so I have a user user1 another user is user2 so when we logged in it create a mailbox this is also create a mailbox Okay, so if I have 10, 20, 1000, 2000 of users, so every when I logged in, every user can create a mailbox, and that information are stored inside a database that is called box database. That is called mailbox database. Okay, so. The mailbox database is a storage where the user mailbox are stores. So a mailbox database stored at uh, exchange server uh, with the extension of file name that dot edb. The database extension is edb. So now the mailbox store contains the following. So in a mailbox store there is a contains some files. One is a mailbox database that the extension is the .edb file so this is a main repository of mailbox data so where the exact the mailboxes are stored the file configured and manage extensible storage engine ESE this file is managed by ESE extensible storage engine and each database contain a separate worker process if I have a five database and then uh, exchange server have five separate worker processor there then another one is a transaction log and the extension is dot log file when we send and receive any message at first it's stored into the RAM then it written into the transaction log file okay so when we send the email at first it's stored into my random access memory RAM it is a hardware device uh, it is a uh, volatile memory where it is written so after that that particular message is written into the log file after that it is permanently write into the mailbox database from transaction log file so at first is stored in the ram then it written in the transaction log file then it permanently write into the mailbox database okay so this is the function of a transaction log file so this is very important in a exchange server 2019 next is a checkpoint file the extension is chk so the checkpoint file stored information when the transaction is successful written into the database or it is stored information unsuccessful transaction 
so check one file just check where the transaction is successful or not if it is successful then it written into the database or not it's just uh, check the memory or if it is unsuccessful transaction that is also stored in the check one file okay next temporary file so the extension is temp.edb edb is the extension so name is tmp so this is a temporary location used to processing transaction so temporary file is a uh, file where the temporary location which processing transaction then the reverse lock so the name is let's just like this so the extension is JRS so where it is it has a double hash that means is the lock prefix this is the lock prefix these files are used to reverse space reserve space uh, for additional lock files reserved lock is uh, uh, used for additional space for the lock file if my disk is full then we then the exchange server 2019 uses the uh, reverse lock a uh, reserve lock file okay so let's start the lab so this is my exchange server 2019 if I go to the exchange server folder exchange server v15 here is a folder logging sorry so a location is a mailbox this is my mailbox database inside the database here is uh, the you can see that these are my files so I have to check the extension also so these are the log file you can see that this all are log file these are the JRS file these are our log file this is my database edb extension and this is my temporary database edb so these are the files inside uh, the uh, mailbox so now what to do i just open a exchange control panel So this is my exchange control panel. I just logged in. So this is my mailbox. Sorry. This is my mailbox database. So I just uh, go to the edit option here you can see the name of the database the mailbox database location path is this so this is mounted database means this is mounted in action server so if we don't mount the database so we cannot use the database so, and the mounted database is stored in uh, exchange server one so we have right now we have only one exchange server so this is mounted my uh, system only and this is my master server okay here we can schedule the maintenance okay so we can schedule, uh, select the time schedule over there we can select the mailbox limit how many uh, data can store inside the mailbox so we can select also this client settings so this is used for address we will uh, do this later so now I have to create a mailbox database graphically okay so I just go to uh, create a folder name is db1 okay then I create a new database database name is also db1 the server is obviously the exchange one ex1 server and the database path by default it is taken 
this location okay so I just change it and set it this path okay lock path is also this so this will mount or not we can select or unselect if we select this mount database so it will create and mount otherwise it will not mount so you can see that we get an error does not match the extended extension dot edb okay so I have to put db1 dot e so here you can see that the database name is like this and the log file is like this okay so I have to set like this go to end I just replace this one only here is also the same I just replace this portion only okay so now I save it will take some time to create the database as well as uh, it will automatically mount the database in exchange control panel see please restart the Microsoft Exchange Information Service Store to use this database so so we can restart services.msc this one I have to restart I just restart it this is the process this is how we can create a mailbox database with the help of exchange control panel graphically now we uh, configure same thing means we have create a same uh, database over there uh, with the uh, exchange um, PowerShell okay so in DB1 you can see, like, see that the database is also created and these are the log files this is the checkpoint file I also told you I already told you So now what I do now I create a mailbox database with the he uh, help of command uh, so I just create a command copy the command and, and first I open the exchange PowerShell here it is this is exchange PowerShell this is opening first time that's why it's taking some time okay so you can see um, the command is new mailbox database this is the command where we create which command is used to uh, create a mailbox the mailbox name is db1 edb file path is sorry the mailbox database is db1 is already created okay so we cannot create db1 so I just named it db2 db2 edb file path is db2 and the database name is db2 dot edb
now uh, the log file path is also the db2 folder and the server is cx1.smartlab.com this is the command c so the db2 is created already so you can see that it's very create very fast so uh, if, if, you, if you use the exchange powershell so it will be very faster than the gui mode so then i just go to the exchange control panel go to database here you can see the db2 is already created so next you can check how many mailboxes are inside the action server so the command is get mailbox database space hyphen server then the server name server if qdn you can see the by default mailbox database is this db1 which, which we create already in gy mode and db2 in which we create in cy mode so this is how we can create a exchange mailboxes mail, mailbox databases so if i want to dismount the mailbox database so uh, you can see the mailbox database is mounted over here so if we want to dismount this so this database is not on not already mount this one is mount db1 is mount db2 is not mounted yet so i just dismount db1 this is how we can graphically dismount the database so dismounted here is showing this one is a mounted so what should i do dismount database db1 sorry i just uh, go to here i just once mount the db1 okay so it is mounted so in this command if i press this command this will dismount the database dismounted so this is showing mounted refresh database dismounted okay this is how we can mount or dismount the database so now i move db1 to another location i have i want to move the database uh, path okay so i create a file folder like the name like this rename sorry move db1 so i just uh, move this database into this location so this is very useful suppose my database is uh, uh, my disk space is already uh, full so i have uh, no chance to uh, free up my disk space so i can um, migrate or move my database in any location like any shared location like any sand location like any physical storage whatever you want so I paste this command so the command is so the move uh, database path then edb path the folder name is move hyphen db1 the database name is db1 dot adb log file hyphen db1 
and the identity is db1 okay so i just move the db1 database to this folder so um, to do this action we have to ensure that that particular database must be dismounted okay so i just select and enter just it will move the path yes a to yes to all c moving so if I go to that folder, go to C drive in DB1, you can see nothing. So it will move inside the move DB1. Okay, so I share you this command in my description box. Please uh, perform these steps very carefully. So because this is very crucial part of Exchange Server. So if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share my videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.